going to do a three marker pumpkin challenge. And if you're new to our channel, I'm JC. And I'm Casey. We love three marker challenges and since Halloween is right around the corner, we thought it would be a lot of fun to decorate pumpkins using only three markers. I hope I get good colors so I win this challenge. Ooh, I hope that they turn out great and we can use them as room decor. That's a good idea. Please stay tuned to the end of this video because we're gonna be giving a shout out to one of our beach family members who subscribed subscribe to our channel and has our post notifications on. But before we begin, if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because we'd love for you to join our beach families. Let's get started. Look at these small, adorable, cute pumpkins we have to color. <laughs> I'm so excited to see what colors we get for the first round. We're gonna start choosing our colors and we've decided that I'm gonna go first, so let's see what I get. this one. Ooh, ooh, a nice dark blue. That's a good way to start this challenge. That's actually a really good color. <laughs> now my turn. Purple. She'll get purple. Oh, okay. I got a teal. Teal. Kind of green. A dark teal. <laughs> I love this color. Let's see what I get next. I mean, this is good for outlining dark colors. This is a really spooky pumpkin over there. Right? Now for my next color. There's so many purple in here. Oh. Red, okay, that is an interesting combination. Kind of like Christmas colors, if only that was a darker green. Yeah, that's true. Red is good for Halloween. It is though. It's now time for me to choose my last color and I hope it goes well with these two. <laughs> Okay, ready? Oh, no way! Ooh, this is such a good color combination. I have a nice neon pink and dark blue and gray. So lucky. Ugh, can I get pink? <laughs> now for my last color, I hope I get something good that would match with these two colors. I don't know what would match. Maybe purple. I keep saying purple. Brown! <laughs> okay, great combination. I'm ready to decorate my pumpkin. I'm ready. I came up with a design and I'm gonna start with red. And I'm gonna start with a gray for this one. I'm super excited to see how this turns out and I chose a very simple design for this pumpkin. So I'm just gonna go around and make a line. It's gonna be a wavy line too. Yeah, I can't draw a straight line, so. That looks good to me. That's a nice squiggly line. And now I'm gonna go and make this line a little darker. Now I can color this in. I finished making the line and now I'm gonna take a pink and color in all of the top of my pumpkin. This is probably gonna take a while, but it's gonna be worth it in the end. I'm coloring this band I made. I wonder if anyone can guess what I'm making right now. Can you guess mine? <laughs> I can. Hey. Wow, I'm almost finished with this red band. And I'm also kinda scared this is gonna rub off on me. Casey's trying to get room decor. I am. I am halfway done. Do you think it looks cool? Yeah, I really like that color. Thanks. Can anyone guess what I'm making right now? Can anyone guess what I'm making? I can. It looks very cool. Ooh, thank you. Now I'm gonna color my pumpkin teal. Hint, hint. <laughs> oh, yay! I finished coloring in the top half of my pumpkin. Oof, that took a while. <laughs> and now I'm just gonna go in with gray and outline it one more time. Your pumpkin doesn't really look like a pumpkin anymore. Yeah, it really looks weird. It looks like one of those apples that is dipped in caramel. <laughs> it looks like a Pokemon ball. <laughs> I'm gonna now add my final step and it's just gonna be lines all over my pumpkin top. Actually, I just changed my mind and that's not my final step. I'm gonna add one more thing. Just gonna do some lines. I'm finished, Casey is still working. I am. That looks scary. <laughs> Spot the secret letter on my pumpkin. Where is it? Wait, see, let me see. J, I can see it. I am so close to being finished, I just have the bottom to do. I'm sitting here waiting. We are now gonna reveal what our pumpkins are. 
Here's mine, it's a cupcake. Here's mine, it's a Ninja Turtle. Casey's turned out awesome. I don't really think this is my favorite design. I just didn't know what else to do with these colors. I know, I was. I had such a hard time deciding what I should do, but then it hit me. A Ninja Turtle. It looks so good. Thank you, I worked really hard on it, and I definitely am putting this in my room for Halloween decor. It's great room decor. And we wanna know what you think, so please let us know down below. Who do you think won this round? JC or Casey? For this round, we are gonna be coloring these giant pumpkins. They're way bigger than the last pumpkin, so we're gonna be using larger markers. I'm really excited to see what colors we're gonna get. I hope they're good. We don't have very many to choose from, but you go first. Okay. <laughs> Black! Ooh. Oh, spooky! I'm ready for this round. That's such a good one to get. It is. My turn. <gasps> Orange! No! Yes! Arr, there's a good one. Now for my next one. Watch her get purple. Blue! Good colors. Those are so nice. Let's see what I get. Blue! Yay, I have orange and blue gator colors. <laughs> now for my last color. Green! Okay, I like this vibrant green. That's so nice. I like your colors a lot. I like them too. I'm not sure how I'm gonna make this look like a Halloween pumpkin though. <laughs> now for my last one. There's only three left. Wonder mm. what I'm gonna get. <gasps> oh, I got purple. Mine! <laughs> I got purple, orange, and blue. That's pretty cool. Black, green, and blue. <laughs> Here, let's just trade these. I don't think so. <laughs> We're really excited to start coloring our pumpkins. I'm gonna start with green. And I'm starting with purple. I have a really awesome one this time. I do too. Ah. I'm just gonna outline some things. I wanna be very careful when I do this though. I started off pretty rough and I'm hoping I can fix it up. I really don't know what to do now. <laughs> Casey knows. I know what I'm doing. Look how much I have already colored. The Sharpie is huge. <laughs> I definitely know what Casey is making. I know what you're making. It looks really funny right now. <laughs> it's horrible right now. Don't make fun of it, please. <laughs> I really like using these big Sharpies. It colors so much better. <laughs> and it gets the job done really quick. I'm taking my orange Sharpie and I'm gonna just color the rest of the pumpkin this color. It's gonna take quite a while. Mm -hmm. You guys are all probably gonna laugh at me for this pumpkin. It's not my best work. <laughs> Look how much I've colored so far. I finally finished going around all of the detailed sections of my pumpkin, and now I have to color the rest orange. I'm so close to being done. Like, look how much I have left. Wow, good job. I finished coloring my pumpkin, and now I'm going to do the design in the front. That was a lot of coloring. It was, it took so long, and I'm excited for you guys to see the finished product, and next I'm gonna use black. And I have to color the rest of my pumpkin. <laughs> I'm almost done! Yay! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, so much more to do. Wow, I have this much left to color. That's so exciting. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's done. I finished using black and now I'm gonna go in with blue. I have finished coloring all of my pumpkin. I'll leave the face for a reveal. We have finished coloring in our pumpkins. I think mine turned out pretty cool. I love how mine turned out. These took forever. <laughs> they did. So, ready? Here, Here they, they are. are. I made an orange M&M. And I made Mike Wazowski. Hers looks so cool, I love it. Aw, thank you. Yours is awesome. I love M&Ms. Thank you. This is the largest orange M&M I've ever seen. <laughs> we worked really hard on these, but it was so much fun, and we wanna know what you think, so please let us know down below. Who do you think won this round? JC or Casey? 
This day marker challenge was so much fun. I love all of the pumpkins and I think they all turned out pretty cool, but we wanna know what you think. So please let us know down below who do you think won this whole challenge? JC or Casey? And you can also vote up in the polls. Today we would love to give a shout out to Tegan Wolf. Thank you so much for subscribing to our channel, having your post notifications on, and being a part of our beach family. Yes, thank you. We love you so much. And if you want a shout out in one of our upcoming videos, please make sure you're subscribed to our channel, have our post notifications on, and please comment down below, beach family. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up, and please share with your family and your friends. And if you're new to our channel or haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe because we'd love for you to join our Beach Family. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time. We love you so much, bye. <laughs> Let's see what I get. <laughs> oh, wow. What to do when you're bored with a pumpkin. <laughs> Hello everyone! Happy Halloween! <laughs> Look at my Brzezowski! So awesome! Orange m and Orange you glad he's an m, &M? Yes. <laughs>